So yeah, man, this is a movie to me. I think if yeah. there's ever a movie that doesn't have to be made, is this one because after X Men, yeah, prequel. You don't need a prequel to the X Men, really. You don't. And this just plays off as X Men Evolution, the movie. You remember that crap? Yeah, really, because this is just to me just is X Men Evolution. I'd rather watch than this because this is this look. The only thing, like, okay, I'll ask these guys. I didn't ask you all out there. In the first three X Men films, who was the most interesting character? Well, if I could steal a line from Red Dawn. Okay. Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I will admit I like Mystique. I like but him. It, but even here is different actors, so it's not. Like different actors. I don't like the Those fact that Cyclops is literally just fucked over in all those movies. Oh wait, like, right. Yeah, I thought about uh, Professor X and Magneto being friends. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's bullshit. I don't I remember that. <laughs> if that is in the comic, old comics, fine. I guess I'm wrong. But some part of me just tells me that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, and, uh, uh, why in the hell would you team up? Why in the hell would Magneto be part of the team? Yeah. I mean, it's like, no. I mean, it's like, if you had... What? Um, no. Think, I think I'm trying to think of, like, another, like, the Justice League. If the Joker was part of the Justice League or, or Lex Luthor, it doesn't any sense. <laughs> well, Smallville, Lex Luthor, and Superman were friends, right? That's yeah. bullshit. <laughs> that was never in the comics. That was just some crap invented by the people who drew, wrote, wrote Smallville with Lex the bullshit. Both seasons of Superman, like, staying as Clark Kent, even when he moves into yeah, the Yeah, but Lex Luthor was Superman's friend. Yeah, they were buddies. <laughs> they, were, no. they were buddies. They were buddies. Real dog. Butt buddies. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's fun. I mean, there's a lot of backstory behind the making of this film already. Screw him I'm over. Out of Fox. Tony <laughs> said he started fucking with Matthew Vaughn. But honestly, I lay blame to Matthew Vaughn. It was a stupid idea to take this movie on because it's a stupid idea a prequel let's do an extra movie without wolverine wow that's how how about we do this how about we do an x-men movie that's good x-men 4 and actually do it right and do the apocalypse you know the age of apocalypse storyline with like cable and like apocalypse that would be awesome yeah no they wouldn't do that because then you know what's going to happen fox will say no, it's too honest. It's gonna cost us a gazillion dollars. Rewrite it, make it. You know simple. who? You know who would be perfect for the cable? Michael Bean. That's my opinion. I think either yeah. him or Kurt Russell would be a good cable. Yeah, I can see Michael Bean doing it if they're yeah. serious. Kurt Russell could do it too. Don't fuck with him. And Kurt like, Russell could do it too. They didn't offer him. Remember, they offered him Dread, <laughs> and just to play a joke on it, it has to be a cruel joke. Dashing the read for Dread. He made the audition. They showed take. Nah, sorry, he's too old. And he admitted in the beginning of the uh, the of the uh, audition, am I a little too long on a be playing a superhero <laughs> and stuff? But he went in, he read it, and you know. Well, I think he would have worked for Dread though, because Dread isn't a superhero. Dread's just a cop. Dread's just a ruthless son of a bitch. You just you know. Yeah, but that's, anyway, X Men First Class. <laughs> the poster art sucks. Like, who gave the idiots the the keys new to trailer they have to... for it? Such so oh, lame, very, very lame. Does it have a new trailer with new footage and it looks lame? But you see the uniforms, yellow and black. Let me ask something. Why they got to wear the uniform yellow and black? But yeah, Wolverine can't wear its fucking uniform yellow and black, huh? <laughs> because it looks. I'm gonna be honest. Out of all things. If we're gonna pull off the Wolverine suit, do the burgundy and uh, or, 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 or. they could have done that. Yeah, but yellow and black. Just looking, just look at those costumes. They look like bumblebees. We can't take them seriously. Give me a break. Yeah, but people say cool. now they're faithful to the comic, right? Isn't that what they were in the comic? They look. Like- yeah, but they also wore costumes. <laughs> they, they wore masks, and and. Yeah, but they didn't pay, so they didn't have their look, good looks. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's much more about the Cuban Missile Crisis. They really get into that, because... It takes place in the 60s, pretty much. And they really get into the Cuban Missile Crisis. Like, I guess the X-Men are going to stop it or something. I like Kevin Bacon and Oliver Platt. Those are only people that, you know, but they're probably not going to do anything. Well, like, uh, one of the people, out of everybody in this cast, those are the two people that I actually know who they are. James McAvoy. 
Okay. I don't know who he is. Michael I Fassbender. Sure. That's one. And... Michael oh, Fassbender, who's playing Magneto. He's good in a, in a movie I've seen him in uh, called Centurion. And Michael Fassbender, if you look at him, he's a spitting image of Thomas Jane that is creepy. <laughs> he looks like Thomas Jane at times, even though he's, he's a, I think he's a Brit. He's not an American, but he's using his real voice, so James McAvoy. And Jim Lucas, too? This is the guy who's the boyfriend in Hannah Montana, the movie. Great, let's have that guy in this movie. It's a good cast, pretty much. <laughs> Michael Fassbender, Kevin Bacon, maybe are the only ones in the bunch, but it's not one. I don't think you need it. Jason no. Fleming, fuck him, too. It would have been fine as an animated movie. Why don't you just release this as some animated direct video movie or something? Yeah, they do that. They're like, no, no, we could do a live action. We could make money off it. I would have been fine with seeing Generation X again with a bigger budget rather than this. And this movie is the reason why we're not getting a kick-ass sequel because Matthew Vaughn got picked for this film. And, of course, Jane Gold, I think whatever, the writer who did the kick-ass, she's doing another project. Everybody's busy. That's why we're not getting a follow-up to kick ass, right? And they don't pissed off about Deadpool because they just hired some guy who was a visual effects artist to direct it just so Fox can fuck with him, obviously. I mean, give me a break. A VFX artist gets the job? Well, that's their pattern. They get directors who are new, who have no balls, which is sad. I feel sorry for Matthew Vaughn because Matthew Vaughn... He seemed like well, he nice should have said no to this. He should have said no. He should have. He should have just... So that's him. his fault. Exactly. He said no. Saying yes to the fucking thing. But the, the 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 visual effects artist is like they're just picking on this guy. Really, this guy has not directed anything big yet, and they're giving his first big break just to screw with it. I mean, exactly. it's the, the David Fincher. And I agree with a, a rant I saw on YouTube. I don't know if it's either one of you guys, but they're saying like, and I agree with them wholeheartedly. This is not, you know, oh, you know, we want to see a good movie, so why why can't the directors direct their own vision? We have to have some asshole exec get on the, the set and fuck with things and make the movie suck. And then, and, then the, and then the audience, we the audience, are pissed off. We don't want to see a movie. Yes, you know, I think I know what it is. I think one time I talked about this uh, with you guys over here. They find the director, right, who they say, oh, it looks promising, he's got time, he's got time. They lure him in with money. Like, oh, yeah, sure, don't worry about it. That's all bullshit, that thing with David Fincher. Don't worry about it. It's a long time ago. Don't worry about it. They get him on the set the first day. Like, all right, sure, Matthew. Yeah, do what you want to do. No problem. And then a week later, where's our movie? No, no, no. Don't tell me nothing. Where's our movie? Hey, you shut the fuck up. Or I'll bitch smack you and throw you out of here and I'll blackball you. You do as we told. And that's it. Yeah, where's your dick? <laughs> yeah. And but when they're in all right, I bet you Matthew Bob must have said, well, I'll do it. Why not? Brian Singer's coming out as a producer. Brian Singer's lucky Fox let him in. He's a bitch. I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah. He's a bitch. Because Fox, they fucked up X-Men because... Even though I'm in the third film, because... Uh, Matthew, I don't think Brian, it's Brian Singer's fault. It's Fox. Fox screwed him over. He wanted to do X-Men 3. Wait a second. That Brian Singer went on to Warner Bros. to do Superman Returns. And he told him, look, I still want to do X-3. Just let me... Finish this, and I'll come back. No, 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 we'll go without you. Fuck you. We'll go with you. That's their attitude. It's like a bunch of yeah. ignorant kids. They're so jealous of Warner Brothers. Like, when Dark Knight made all that money, right away, they were like, we got to do something with Daredevil. We got to do something with Daredevil. I got it. Let's give it to... What's that director? David Slade. Because he was crying like a bitch because he didn't get Wolverine. Let's give it to him. Come here and swallow this, by the way. <laughs> so we're gonna get James uh, Patterson to play Bat Murdock and shit. Robert Pattinson. Hi, whatever his name is, fucking guy, whatever. James Patterson. Whatever Patterson. <laughs> first class, I just, I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that at all. That's like the one horrible <laughs> movie that I will not. That's a fall guy. That's a guy. That's a fall guy. That's a fall guy. So then people could go, that's a talentless director. And then what the studio is gonna say? Oh yes, yes, it was his fault. Yes, yes. I know first class. So they're gonna get Lee Majors. The fall guy. <laughs> yeah. I hope X Men First Class flops because I don't. It's see... just because people are talking to it already. They're not looking forward to it either. Nothing about this movie is interesting. They should. They tried to done a lot of stuff. Hell, do the fucking. I would have rather seen a Magneto prequel than this. <laughs> just about Magneto and the. Oh, you know, do that like... thing the Secret Defenders. Yeah. Secret Defenders. What's that? That's a comic book that they got all these weird like. 
Doctor Strange will randomly get these people at like, one time. He yeah. got, like, uh, Nighthawk? Just, was it like, a Nighthawk? Spider-Man, Night? Captain America, and Scarlet Witch. One time he got, like, the Punisher and this guy named Sleepwalker. And... Yeah. The what? What, what, what they I do like, this? I don't know, just on certain, like, adventures or certain missions. I think X-Force <laughs> will be cool. So, like, one, t- you know? like, one time, he, yeah. What is Like, one time he got, like, Silver Surfer, the yeah. War Machine, and this, what's that, the Thor guy, Thunderstrike? That's the Thor yeah. guy with the beard. Uh-huh. Like, he gets these random, like, people and, like, goes on these missions. That's, that's more interesting than this. I think X-Force is more interesting, because X-Force is, like, the other, there's, like, the alternate X-Men stuff, you know, I got Cable <laughs> eating it. Yeah. And got all these younger... Give him my fucking Ninja Turtle PG-13 movie, for fuck's sake. Yeah. This shit. Hey, you rated R Ninja Turtle. Well, they'll hey, never I'll... do that, but I want PG-13 at least. Yeah. yeah. Fuck's Jones. His story alone from the 2003 cartoon, that would make a good fucking movie. Because he's basically like a vigilante. How about we just do the Wolverine movie that we want, and it's not going to happen, but I'd like to see an <laughs> R-rated Wolverine movie with him fucking up ninjas right and left. That would be awesome, but no. Not that. A lot of action, and no slow spots. Fight with a samurai at the end or some shit. Yeah. The silver samurai guy. Fight him. That'd be cool. But no, no, no. It's not gonna nope. happen though. Cause, uh, Cause in Japan, a lot of stuff's going to bat over well, there. Yeah, this movie's gonna suck. I'm sorry. But this movie's gonna suck balls. And the, and I'm not looking us. forward to begin. I, I don't know about any of these other movies. Well, Super, Super Eight. I want to see that. I, I saw the trailer. It's, and, up. it's up on Froggy. It's up. Okay. <laughs> oh, you wanna, now, you wanna... that, now everybody knows. So... Super 8 is up yeah. on... How the hell? Is... Oops, sorry, I, I, I meant uh, Super, the other one with... Uh... No, that's, yeah, that's I got movie. that one already. Superhero 1. I'm sorry, my mistake. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, uh, that's, Super that's, that's a Super that's movie that you hate. What? That's a Super I got, movie you thought. I got it. I'm going to check it out, but All I right. have it. I got mixed up. Nah, I know that suit. That bush is, I don't know. How the hell? What did Froggy do? Break into Paramount Pictures? Is, is, yeah, he stole from J.J. Abrams. So. Yeah, but maybe it probably won't have no effects in there. They'd be fighting whatever an invisible creature. It's is. a super <laughs> Seems interesting. I like J.J. Abrams. I think he's done a good job so far of almost everything he's done. Well, I hate Star, Star Trek. Trek. I like Star Trek. I didn't, Trek. didn't care for I didn't see Star Trek yet. Well, yeah, yeah. So we got one who hasn't seen it, one who hates it, one who likes it. <laughs> there you go. But I don't know, JJ. I mean, well, Mission Impossible Three. I thought you didn't like. I didn't like Mission Impossible Three. I said. I, I saw the theater. Uh, I like the parts of it. I like parts of it. I agree. The ending is lame. Well, cartoonish. Like he fights Philip Seymour Hoffman. And he kills him. It's not really a match either for Tom Cruise. I mean, Philip Seymour. Well, I didn't mind Mission Impossible Three. I liked it better than Star Trek. Alright. I had to be honest, I think Mr. Paul's He was a co-writer of Gone Fishing for Crying Out Loud. <laughs> really? Well, J.J. Abrams was a co-writer for Gone Fishing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Dan, with Joe Pesci and Danny Glover. Well, I mean, I can have fun with that one, but, uh, and then yeah. like, you got... Regarding Henry, he wrote. That was good. <laughs> well, that was yeah. Regarding Henry? Wow. And uh, Joyride, he wrote. Super 8... He's a you good know, writer. I mean, I like Joyride. He wrote that. That was good. We got... He wrote a Superman script that was never made, so... It should be good. I mean... It's interesting. I, uh, I like... It's kind of like more like a Spielberg movie, like an early Spielberg type yeah. of film. Yeah, that's probably what the it trailers is. I saw, it looks good, so I'll give that a... It looks cool. interesting. It looks interesting. I don't think I'd see it in theaters. I don't think I would. Okay. <laughs> I didn't you know, know Scarlet, that this guy's directing this movie. I didn't know that. I would see if it's in the drive-in. Who's that? Which one? I don't know. Yeah. The movie that's coming next on list. Oh. I know that Mike is in between about. Uh, I'm Green in between Lantern. two now. With Green Lantern. See, we saw... <laughs> I showed... I saw the... I, at first, I was opposed to it. Then I saw this new footage. Because today. the old trailer set, the new trailer... It looks like they fit some special effects. Yeah. I still don't know about Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. Either. I don't. I didn't read the comments. I mean, he just, the character's pretty young. Green Lantern, really. I mean, I like the fact he makes up a mini gun. Yeah, that's a cool thing. He makes up a mini gun and da 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 da. That's yeah. cool. Stop. But yeah. it could. I mean, I don't know about Green Lantern. It just it's yeah. not really my 
thing. Yeah. It's not really something like. Surprise! You might like it. You might hate it. 